This is a grade seven math practice test for tea and ready. Question number 22. A recipe for one pumpkin pie calls for one and one fourth cups of sugar. Alana has only half a cup of sugar and she needs to make four pumpkin pies. If she's like me, it's like the night before they're due and then she realizes she doesn't have any sugar. That's the way it goes. How many more cups of sugar will Alana need to make all four pies? So there's two parts to this. First off, we need to figure out how much total sugar we need, and then we need to figure out what, how much more we need. So in this case, we're looking at a subtraction there at the end, but in the beginning, we just need to figure out how much sugar we need total. So right now, the pies require one and one-fourth, and she needs to make four of them. If you have four of something, that's what multiplication is designed for. We have multiple things. Instead of adding one-fourth four times, we'll just do times. There's a few ways that you can do this. Of course, you can just do it the way that you've always done, where you multiply the denominator times the whole number, and then add this. So 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5, so 5 fourths times 4 over 1, and then you get 20 over 4, and you end up with 5. So she needs 5 cups. Also, you could have split the fraction and the whole number, We'll just add those together. So then we'll do 4, because there's 4 pies, times 1, and 1 fourth times 4, because again, there's 4 pies. 4 times 1 is, of course, 4, plus 4 times 1, 4 times 1, that's 4 over 4, or 4 plus 1 equals 5. So we need 5 cups of sugar. So I'm going to make a note up here that says this, because I'm about to do a bit of erasing, so I have any room to work. Now, Alana has one half cup, and that's all she has, classic Alana, and she needs to make five cups. So all I have to do now is subtract. So five minus one half. I mean, at this point, this is not super difficult. You can split this out into four plus one minus one half if you want, and then one minus one half is, of course, one half. And then you just have the four left over, so you get four and a half. Or, if you wanted to, you could go all the way. Make your math teacher's heart sing, so we'll do a common denominator here. I can just do two, so I'll put two on the bottom, and five times two is, of course, ten. And then ten minus one is nine. And then I'm going to do my division. 9 divided by 2, well, 2 times 4 is 8. So it's 4, and then 9 minus 8 is 1, 1 half. So 4 and a half cups of sugar. They may or may not require you to do units. Because they say how many more cups, they're kind of giving you cups anyway, so you don't really have to put the cups there. In most mathematical things, you will have to include units, but they're pretty relaxed about whether you do that or not in terms of this type of problem. So choose your own adventure as far as that's concerned, and uh, make sure that you don't have such lousy handwriting on this that you have trouble carrying it over to the answer form. Yikes, not any better. There we go, a little bit better. Four and one half, perfect-ish. But wait, you may say, this is a calculator allowed section, and I don't see you ever using a calculator. I, I use it sometimes. But you can do it with a calculator. I actually think it's more complicated to do this one with a calculator, but we can still do it. So she needs one and one-fourth. So because I have the most generic calculator ever, I have to remember that one and one-fourth is one plus one-fourth. So I'll do one... And I'll go ahead and do the division. Plus one. That's one and one fourth. And you could probably get that anyway, one dollar and one quarter. And then I'm going to have to multiply that times four. And I get five. So I'd make a note anyway that that's five. Oops. It's doing it again. There we go. Now, back to the calculator. Now that I know that I need five... I still have to take away this one half because I've had to see how much more is there. So I'll just 
subtract and put it in parentheses. And you get 4.5. So that would be your answer. So yes, you can use a calculator on this one if you want. I don't know if I would trust myself to press the buttons in the right order. I'm just not that great at doing it all in the calculator and hoping to get the best answer. I know it seems like that's what you should be able to do because it's a math class, but sometimes you have to use your tools like in more intelligently than just using them for everything. Like I don't use a a hammer to like try to pat down soil outside of my house. That would be too much. I would start denting the ground. So I use it when I have to put a nail in instead. So be careful about how you use a calculator. I'm not saying don't use it, but don't become dependent on it to make you think it's going to solve all your problems because it's only going to solve the problems that you enter into it and not just the problems that you have.